Hi, we are here with Miko Nakiri to talk about some of the cool new features between Back Vista 15 and the VMware platform, uh, including vSAN and vVol. Is that right, Miko? Yes. What do you got you. for us today? Bill, I got you software, software defined storage and um, uh, vSphere 6 with Backup x 15 integration. So let's have a look first of all, what do we have here? So vSphere 6 is the latest release by VMware. And with that, VMware introduced a couple of new things on the software design, defined storage side, uh, something called VMware Virtual SAN and also VMware Virtual Volumes. Uh, they both kind of address a couple of different sides of the software defined storage. One of them, Virtual SAN, is all about leveraging the converged storage on um, VMware's own vSphere infrastructure. And virtual volumes, on the other hand, is a integration point into third-party arrays, SAN NAS arrays, and, and just a overall uh, a, a layer of abstraction on top of, of those hardware devices. So overall, benefits of software-defined storage is all about separating the control plane from the hardware and just kind of reducing the need for day-to-day -day configuration on the storage side and automating everything policy-based from the vSphere uh, infrastructure perspective. So let's have a look on how Backup x 15 integrates into virtual SAN and virtual volumes. So here in the middle, I have the Backup x server, Backup x 15 and I can see that I have my storage here. You can use tape, disk, or cloud storage for that. And then on the right side here, I got a virtual SAN, and I got the minimum of three hosts that virtual SAN requires. And then I have my couple of virtual machines here on the vSAN data store. So vSAN is kind of, uh, data store is kind of interesting. It actually spans across all of those multiple hosts. So it's a little bit different from the traditional data store that you might be used to on the, on the physical hardware side. The benefits really on, on vSAN side is, is all about just being able to leverage your direct attached storage on your host side. And again, automating all of that uh, uh, control on the storage side. So no more RAID, no more LAN modifications. Everything is managed policy-based from the vSphere side. So how we integrate into the vSAN data store is through our vStorage APIs for data protection that are included in Backup x 15. And with that, we can actually connect directly to the vSAN data store and request for the vStorage APIs to provide us snapshots of the virtual machines directly from the data store. And the benefits really from that deep integration is that we can offload the, the actual operation directly to the data store level. We don't have to go through the ESX server itself. And that again, just reduces the amount of impact you have on your vSphere environment. So overall, it's great for, for performance wise, uh, off hosting everything. You also get better DR operations, so you can actually restore on VM level as well. And you can al also have that complete, uh, complete backup completely agentless, so you don't have to use agents unless you want to for additional purposes. Same applies for virtual volumes. So like I said, virtual volumes, they're using the uh, vStorage APIs for storage awareness and, and vStorage APIs for array integration. So it's more of an API into third-party SAN and NAS devices. And again, it abstracts everything on the control plane for the hardware, like on the vSAN side as well. And our integration into virtual volumes follows the same footsteps as we do on the virtual SAN side. So again, we request a uh, virtual machine snapshot directly from the virtual volumes. And we don't have to use any agents or anything. We don't have to go through the ESX host itself. We deal directly with the volumes uh, themselves and the VMs themselves, and then process that information with the backup server, with the backup exec 15 server, to whatever storage you want to leverage for that, whether it's tape, disk, or cloud storage. So that is a nutshell, is how we integrate with virtual volumes and virtual SAN with vSphere 6 with backup exec 15.